If you're a freelancer providing services such as video editing, writing, and photography, and you want to get more clients, then this video is for you. Today, I'll go over a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a personal portfolio website on WordPress, which will massively increase the amount of clients that you're able to get. Now, the reason why a personal portfolio website is so important is because it allows potential clients to see your past work before hiring you. And if you want the highest chance of getting the job, then having a professional and clean looking website is key. That's why I'll be showing you guys exactly how to do that in this video using a platform called Hostinger. It's by far our favorite platform to use because of how affordable it is, as well as how easy it is to use with their drag and drop builder. You don't need to know any code and I'll be showing you guys all the plugins that you'll need in order to make a good looking website. With all that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna set up is your web hosting. And again, we recommend using a platform like Hostinger. So if you guys click on the link down below, you guys are gonna get taken to this page right here where you guys can get up to 75% off of hosting. So as you guys can see right here, you can literally get web hosting for under $3 per month. And don't worry, we also have a special code that you guys can insert, which I'll show you guys later on, and it'll give you an even greater discount on your plan. So to get started, just click on claim deal right here, and then that'll take you to all of their web hosting plans. So they have the premium web hosting, the business web hosting, and the cloud startup. Now, for most of you guys just getting started, I would say that the premium web hosting is perfectly fine. And with this web hosting plan, you get access to a hundred different websites, as well as a free domain and a free unlimited SSL. They also have a bunch of different features that you guys can check out. But for this example, I'll just go ahead and add this one to my cart. Now, you'll be able to choose a period for your plan. So they have the one month plan, the 12 month plan, 24 month plan, and the 48 month plan. And the only one that I don't recommend getting right here is the one month plan, obviously because it costs more. It costs around $12 per month compared to the $3 per month that you'd be paying on all the other plans. And if you guys are looking to set up your website long term, then I recommend getting the 48 month plan because you'll be getting two months for free. And over the course of four years, you'll be saving about $432. For this example, I'll go with the 12 months plan. And then when you scroll down, this is where you can enter in your email email address to create an account. Then the last thing that you have to do is just enter in your address information as well as your card. But before you do that, go ahead and click on this right here where it asks you if you have a coupon code and go ahead and enter the code Charlie Chang. Once you click apply, you'll see that you'll have an even greater discount. And so instead of 75%, you'll actually be getting 78%. So this is one year of web hosting for only $32. You guys, that is absolutely insane right now. I don't know where else you can find a deal like this. So be sure to click on that link down below to take advantage of this exclusive deal. But other than that, you would just have to enter in your card info right here and then click on submit secure payment. And then once you guys have finished paying, you guys are going to get taken to this page right here, where as you guys can see, it'll show up with claim your free domain right here. And if I go ahead and click on that, I'll be able to search for a domain name and then check for its availability. And if it's available, then I'll go ahead and take that. So for this example, I'll put Charlie's personal portfolio, and then I'll choose a .com ending and I'll check availability. So cool, this domain is available. So I'll go ahead and click claim domain right here. And then I'll just go ahead and go back to my homepage. And then under the setup, you guys are probably going to see business or premium web hosting, depending on which plan you guys got. From there, you just have to click on setup. And then it's going to take you through a really easy guided setup that you can do within a few minutes. So I'll go ahead and click start now. I'll click on create a new website. And then it's going to ask you if you want to build your website using WordPress or the hosting or builder with AI. For this video, I'll show you guys how to use WordPress. But we also have other videos that'll teach you how to use hosting or builder with AI. So if you guys are interested, we'll leave a link down below for you guys to check that video out. And then now it'll allow you to create your login details for your WordPress account. And once you put that in, it's going to ask you if you want to add any plugins to your website. For now, I'll just click on skip. And then it's also going to ask you if you want to select any themes. You can go ahead and preview these and install them if you want. But there's actually a plugin that's super helpful on WordPress that'll install a theme for you. So I'll just go ahead and scroll down and click skip. Then it'll ask if you also want to provide your brand name and business details. And then the AI will automatically generate your text creation for you. I'll click skip for now. And then it's going to ask you which domain you want to use. So I'll use the one that I just registered. I'll click select. And then I'll click on finish setup. Okay. And then once that's done, it's going to take you to this page right here where you can either edit your website or go to your control panel. If you want to go ahead and set up an email for your website, then you can go to your control panel and do that there. But for now, we'll go ahead and click on edit your website right here. And now is the fun part where you can start customizing your website. So now it's taken me to the WordPress dashboard. And right away, the very first thing that you guys can do is start installing some plugins. So in order to do that, I'll go ahead and go to plugins right here. And as you guys can see, there are already six plugins that they installed for me. And some of them are activated and some of them are not. So as you guys can see, the ones that say deactivate are the ones that are already activated. For example, all-in-one WP migration. This is basically gonna allow you to import and export your blog content. But for this example, we won't need it. So I'll go ahead and click deactivate. And then I'll also go ahead and delete it. Now from here, if you guys don't have WP forms already, I recommend installing it because that's what you'll need to create forms on your website. I'll show you guys how to use that later on in this video. But for now, let's go ahead and add some more. So we'll go to add new right here. And the very first plugin that we're gonna install is called starter templates. So I'll go ahead and type 
that into the search bar. And right here, you guys can see that it's created by Brainstorm Force. So I'll go ahead and click install now. And then now if I go back to my plugins, you guys can see that it's right there. And then from here, all I have to do is click on activate. Then we'll go to add new again. And then the second plugin that we're gonna install is called Elementor. This is a really easy to use drag and drop website builder. So go ahead and install that right now. And then right here where it says essential add-ons for Elementor, we'll also go ahead and install that. From there, we'll go ahead and activate both of them. And for the essential add-ons when you're configuring it, just go ahead and choose the basic. And then right here for elements, we'll go ahead and click view all. And then we'll scroll down to where it says WP forms and we'll turn that on. We'll go ahead and click next. We don't need any of these pro elements, so we'll click next. We don't need this as well, so we'll click next and next again. And then I'll choose no thanks. So now that we've installed all the plugins, now what you're gonna wanna do is go to your settings right here and then go to permalinks. From here, you're gonna want to choose post name because this will allow you to have your custom domain name, .com, and then followed by the actual post name. This is just a good option to have if you wanna optimize your SEO on your website. And then once you guys are done choosing that, go ahead and scroll down and then click on save changes. And then once you guys are done with that, now we're gonna go and install the starter templates. So in order to do that, go ahead and go to appearance right here and then click on starter templates. That's gonna take you to this page right here where it'll show you a video on how to use it, but no need to watch that because I'll show you guys how to use it right here. Just click on build your website now, click on Elementor for your page builder. And then now it's gonna ask you what type of website are you building? So for this video, since we're building a personal portfolio website, you guys can go to personal sites right here and then click on this. And then it's gonna show you a bunch of different portfolio templates that you can use. And you guys can also go over to the professionals right here and go to a specific section if that applies to you. Yeah, just go through all of these different templates and see which ones you guys like. They have some templates that are premium, but there's no need to get premium. You can easily create a professional looking website just off of the basic ones. So let's say I like this website right here. I'll go ahead and click on that. And then now it's gonna take me through the process of customizing it to my own liking. So if I have a logo, I can go ahead and upload it right here. If you don't have a logo, then it's no problem. You could just skip and then go back to it later. Then you can change the colors of your website. So if I don't like this scheme and I wanna change it to this right here, I can go ahead and do that. And as you guys can see, it changes in real time as well. So let's say I like this blue one. I can also scroll down and change some of the fonts. So as you guys can see, I can change it to Playfair. I can change it to Poppins, Montserrat, Rubik, and some other options right here. Let's say I wanna change it to Open Sans and then we'll click on continue. Okay, and then it's gonna ask you to fill out some information, but no need to do any of this stuff. You guys can just click on submit and build my website. And boom, so now it says, congratulations, your website is ready. And it just took 16 seconds to build. So I'll go ahead and click view your website right here. And as you guys can see, it installed everything for me. So I'll go ahead and scroll all the way up. And if I want to edit, then I'll go ahead and click edit with Elementor right here. From here, it's gonna bring me to the Elementor editor page. And this is where you can really start to drag and drop anything that you want on the page. So let's say, for example, I wanna change this text. I'll just go ahead and click on this. And then I'll just change this right here to hello, I am Joey. And then instead of freelance copywriter, I'll put I am a freelance editor. This thing right here on the right hand side is the navigator. So you can choose specific things like this section right here. As you guys can see, it'll choose this entire section. And I can even go individually to the column, the heading, the text, as well as these two buttons right here and the social icons on the bottom. Here on the left hand side, it'll allow me to edit the content and the style. So let's say for example, for this text right here, I can go ahead and change the alignment to the center or the right. I'll just keep it at the left alignment for now. And if I go to style right here, I can also change the text color. So let's say I want it to be red instead. And I can go into the typography and change the font family as well as the font size by dragging on this bar right here. I can change the weight of the text. I can transform it and a bunch of other options down here. Going back, I can also add a text stroke if I want as well as a text shadow. And I can even change the blend mode to any of these options right here. Going to the advanced settings, I can create a margin or some padding and scrolling down, I can also add some motion effects. So right now it's at default, but I can also have it fade in left like so. And whenever I'm done editing something, I'll just go ahead and click the update button right here. And let's say I want to replace this picture right here. That's actually gonna be the background image. So if I want, I'll just go ahead and choose image right here and I'll drag in my image that I have and then I'll click on select. And now, as you guys can see, the picture has changed. Also, if you guys wanna add anything to your page, just go ahead and click this button right here and then it'll take you back to the elements page where you can add anything from headings, images, texts, videos, and a bunch of other options that you guys can check out. If you guys wanna delete a section, so let's say we want to delete this section right here, we'll just go ahead and click on the six dots right here and then it'll bring me to the section where I can right click it and then click on delete. I can also go ahead and duplicate sections by right clicking and then selecting duplicate. And if I wanna add a new section, I'll just go ahead and click this plus button right here and it'll add a new section on top. From here, I can do anything. I can go back to this right here and let's say I want to add another image. So I'll go ahead and drag that onto the screen. From here, I'll be able to upload an image. So let's say I wanted to upload this right here. I'll click select and bam. Now I can go into the style and the advanced and change some of the settings around so that it looks nicer. If you guys want, you guys can also select the navigator tool and put it on the right hand 
right-hand side. And as you guys can see, this section right here, they already created for us. It's the services. So this is where you'd be able to write out the services that you provide. Then down here, they have a testimonial. And then an about me section, some milestones and awards, and then a person on your team. Now, the only thing that I'd say is probably missing from this page is a contact form. So in order to do that, we can create a new section. And for that, I can choose the structure. So for this example, I'll just choose this one. And then inside of this, I can go ahead and search the WP forms widget, and then go ahead and drag that onto the plus sign. And this is where I'd be able to put my form so that they can contact me at any time. You can also just link these buttons right here at the top to your Upwork or Fiverr profile. It all depends on how you want to do it as the freelancer. But let's say for this example, you want to create a form. So I'll go ahead and click on new form right here. And then that'll take me to the WP form setup. So I'll go ahead and name the form right here. We'll call it personal portfolio contact form. We'll go ahead and click on simple contact form right here. And now this is what it will look like. And something that you guys can do to make it look a little bit more professional is go to format right here, go to simple, then go to advanced right here and then click on hide label. And then for the name placeholder, just type in your name. Then for the email, we would do the same thing and just go to advanced, go down and click on hide label. And then for the placeholder text, we'll put your email. Then for this comment or message part, we'll go ahead and go to advanced right here, click on hide label. And then for the placeholder text, we could put your message. We can go to add fields right here and then add any of these standard fields if we want. So for example, we can go ahead and add a single line text right here. Go ahead and drag this above the comment or message, click on it, go to advanced, go down and then click on hide label. And then for the placeholder text, we'll put subject. Then from here, we can go over to the settings right here and then we can change the name of the submit button text. But other than that, we're pretty much done here. So we'll go ahead and click save and then we'll exit out of WP forms. And as you guys can see, it now has added that to this page. From here, I can go to advanced and I can move it around a little bit. And if I want, I can go ahead and go to column as well. And I can go to style and add a background type border or change the typography. And yeah, you can always just go into your settings of your WP forms and then change the email that receives all of this information. From here, the last thing that we'll want to do is optimize it for mobile. So we'll go ahead and click on this button right here, responsive mode. And then we'll go ahead and choose mobile portrait. And then we'll just make sure that everything looks good on mobile view. This is because a good amount of your traffic is going to be from mobile. So you want to make sure that it's optimized for mobile. So I'll go ahead and click on this text right here. Obviously it's a little bit too big. So I'll go ahead and go to typography and then change the size a little bit. We can scroll down and see what else needs to be changed, but it looks pretty good to me. So I'll go ahead and click update right here. And then we can go ahead and exit out of this responsive mode. Now I'll show you guys how to customize this menu right here where it says home, work, testimonials, contact, and this button right here that says let's talk. So to exit out, I'll just go ahead and click this button right here and then click on exit. From here, I'll go to my pages. And as you guys can see, there are already a few pages that are created such as the contact page, the home page, privacy policy page, testimonials, and work. These were automatically generated by starter templates. And if I want, I can go ahead and click edit with Elementor for each of them and go ahead and change those to whatever I want it to look like. From there, I can go over to appearance right here and then click on menus. And then now it's gonna bring me to the menu structure where I can add any of the pages that I have. And if there's a new page that you guys wanna add and it's not on here, obviously you would just go back to the pages, click on add new, and then it's gonna bring me to the WordPress block editor. So I'll go ahead and just name this test page. From there, I'll click on publish and then click publish again. And then I'll go back to WordPress, go to appearance, menus. And as you guys can see, test page is now there. So I'll go ahead and click that and then add to menu. Now, as you guys can see, test page is right there and I can click and drag this to wherever I want. So let's say I want this to be first. I'll go ahead and click save menu. And now if I go back to my website, you guys can now see that the test page is now here. So yeah, this isn't gonna be a complete tutorial on how to create a website. Otherwise this video would be way too long. But as you guys saw, it's super easy to use. It's just drag and drop. And I recommend messing around with it to customize it to your own liking. And yeah, with this step-by-step -step tutorial, you should be able to create a personal portfolio website within a few hours. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Again, we'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out Hostinger and make sure to use the coupon code Charlie Chang for an even greater discount on your plan. Again, you can get an entire year's worth of web hosting for only $30. And if you guys want, you can check out all of our other videos on this channel that'll teach you how to make a website. If you guys enjoyed this video and got some value out of it, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of tutorials and how-to guides dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.